Ace of Tech sponsored our trip out to Computex 2024 for us to take a look at the cooling tech that they're going to be bringing to us both now and in the future. They've got some really cool stuff coming up that involves AI and 3D printing. And I'm going to get to this future tech in a second after I tell you what's actually coming to the market quite soon. And that's a company known as Trix. They're bringing their Panorama Pro liquid coolers to the US market in the next couple of months. We've covered this on Hot News here at UFD Tech just because of how unique this cool actually is. You can see that it has a large 2K screen on it at six and a half inches supporting 60 hertz and it allows you when you're sitting straight and you have your PC off to the side it looks like you're looking at like an ultra wide screen. These have been available in China for the last few months but now they're finally making their way to the US and one of the cool things about them is that they're using Asetek's Gen 8 cooling technology which we covered a whole host of various coolers last year at Computex that started to implement the Gen 8 cooling tech for the first time. But seeing tricks kind of pop up out of nowhere, from talking to the team there, it seems like the company only started in April, but they've got a major water cooling company backing them, so you know that the pump technology is good. And then it's also coming in with this very unique display to help make it a selling point on the market. So Trix had the Panorama Pro on display. This is something they're currently selling, but also what they're gonna look at selling in the future is the non-pro version, which it's still got Asetek under the hood, but the block doesn't have a fan to blow on the VRM, and it's screen can actually be rotated to be in multiple orientations depending on where you have it in your case. Which I know this is sponsored by Asetek, so we're here to talk about the cooling tech, but I do also want to highlight Trix has some amazing cases that they're going to be coming out with. They called it their Luca lineup, and it was just a very gorgeous, sleek design, both with mesh and tempered glass, allowing you to get multiple looks and feels to your build. They also showed off that they're going to have a paracord design coming out for future cases. That one seems to be a bit further out than their current Luca lineup. Up. But Trix, for a company that's only been around for a few months, seems like it's going to be making a big splash here in the U.S. when it comes to cooling tech, thanks to its partnership with Asetek. But let's go over to Asus, who not only had Gen 8 pumps on display with their Ryujin coolers, but also has the future of water cooling set up at their booth. What I'm holding here is a 3D printed cold plate that goes onto a water cooler. Because Asus, Asetek, and Fabricate Labs all partnered up to change how cold plates are going to be made in the future. Future. And they also used AI to help figure out how to optimize fluid dynamics because this cold plate utilizes ECAM technology, which is also known as electrochemical additive manufacturing, which is very different than how your traditional copper cold plate is currently manufactured on something like you would see with Asetex Gen 8 technology. Because you make the cold plates through a process known as skiving, which is you take a hunk of copper and you cut out the parts that you don't want to be there, which allows you to create the flows and channels for the liquid to go through in order to bring the cooling. Ecamm is exactly the opposite of that. Instead of removing copper, you are 3D printing from the ground up, which according to Asetek's internal testing actually brings significant cooling enhancements to their next generation of cold plates, which are gonna be utilizing this technology. Additionally, it allows you to create bespoke cold plates depending on what it is that you're trying to cool. Whether that's a hot spot on a given brand of CPU versus the other, you can actually have micro changes made to the cold plate that allow it to actually exceed the cooling performance of your traditional skiving process. And from talking to Asetek and Asus, it looks like they're gonna be using this Ecamm technology in their upcoming Ryujin water block, which was the first DIY water block Asus had ever unveiled in partnership with Asetek. And the next gen version of that should be utilizing this Ecamm technology. And then it could potentially see its way towards future coolers like the rest of the Ryujin AIO lineup. But by using AI to help figure out flow paths and the design of the actual 3D print to actually 3D printing the water block itself, Asetek has a future ahead of it that's going to allow it to create things that we have not seen in the cooling game yet. So whether it's the Trix Panorama Pro Cooler that's gonna be coming to the US sometime soon, or for the 3D printed cold plates that should be making its way to the market sometime soon, I'm excited for what Asetek is gonna be bringing to us in 2024 and beyond. Big thanks to them for sponsoring our trip out to Computex 2024 and for allowing us to check it out and for giving me this little memento of a 3D printed cold plate that I get to have here in the office and hold on to. Big thanks to everybody who watched all of our Computex 2024 coverage and we'll be back with more videos sometime soon.